in some ways, your presence in this movie, you, like your, your very presence in this movie is a spoiler because it's so, um, uh, it's so winding the path that it takes before you are introduced to the story. Um, is that part of what, uh, you know, that script I feel like is just something that, that should be treasured. Is that what drew you to the project? Yes, but it wasn't my interpretation of the script. Um, it was my wife's interpretation of the script. Oh. It was my wife's reaction to the script. Her name is Allison. And <laughs> when you meet her, and you will someday, you'll be so happy that you met her. <laughs> but when she read the script, she belly laughed. And it's not that I don't hear Allison belly laugh, but when I do, it's one of the experiences of life that one will take away forever. Unlike a lot of other things, this project is one of those moments that you'll have stuff that you'll take away forever and you'll, you'll experience stuff for the first time and you'll go, was I actually supposed to laugh at that? But be brave and allow yourself to do that. Be, oh, <laughs> be brave, get it? <laughs> you, you allow yourself to do that and you'll realize that there are other things in life that you may not understand until you actually see them right there in front of you. So this is a remake of the foreign original. And I feel like probably one of the biggest differences is the change in your character uh, from like the Serbian uh, Albanian gang to Native Americans. Uh, so I imagine that other people were able to look at their character, their analogs from the other version of the film. Uh, maybe did you have that uh, or not have that luxury? I did not go looking. Hmm. I wanted to feel like this was instinctive, that I didn't want to know the end. I didn't want to know how it was going. And to some degree, I didn't read all parts of the script. Right? I got to, I, I got to see the whole story in real time as you did when you watched the film for the first time. And I'm glad that I did because in the film, there are three films. There are three stories. And other than the secret that you get to know, I don't actually know that as a character. And it was um, great to just be in my world, to be in the world with all the, with my bros, right? And I knew most of them, right? Yeah. It was great because over the years I've worked with a lot of different people. So it was great to, you know, hang out and watch them do their craft and, and uh, enjoy the humor and, you know, how they lifted the dialogue, just simple print off the page and brought it to life. Um, you were talking about the three stories, and they're all stories about fathers and their sons. Um, how do you feel like that uh, permeates the, the whole movie? Just that um, each father having a different dynamic with their son. Um, like how do you feel that yours uh, is similar or different to the stories of Liam Neeson's character or uh, Tom's character? Other Tom. I won't compare the, two, the, the, the three stories in that fashion, but the overall tone of this film within the context of the arc that I have to follow is based in sorrow and loss. And, you know, I just in general can't imagine what that would be like. But I do know this. I do know that we have to figure out how to prevent those kinds of things versus then react to those kinds of things. If we don't have to react, we know that we'll get healthy and we don't need drugs to do so, right? 